when the salt melts, the chlorine or whatever it is that melts in the salt, it makes that white cloud of, it ain't smoke, <laughs> it ain't smoke no more, you know, in, uh, it, when the salt goes in, then it's the, the whatever's coming from the salt melting, it's making the white fumes. It's actually uh, just like putting a glaze over a, a piece of pottery, it's a, it's a coat of glass, almost what you, it looked like a clear coat of glass over a piece of clay. And a good heavy salt, you get a, a sort of orange peel texture when it's, when it's salted really good on the pot. When you pour salt in a kill, it cools it down really quick. That's why we have to go through these two salt and three salt and process. And if you take too long in your salting process, uh, you get your kill so cool so it's really not not a doing the job it's supposed to do. And it'll come out, sometimes it'll come out really dry looking. The pot will just be a, a dry look because of salt. It wasn't hot enough to really melt the salt right. So that's why we have to keep going through these little processes of salt a little bit and then be able to heat back it. We close the heel down, just leave a little slot under the door. And we fire with small pieces of wood, sometimes for 20, sometimes for 40 minutes, just depending on how hot we thought we had it when we've done our final salt. And uh, that way we can build the temperature back up enough to know we've got the kill hot enough to melt that final salt that we put in, plus get a good build up of ashes that's coming from the wood and you get a good slick, shiny looking effect on more of the pots and that's why we do that. Blowing it in with a blower like we've done there, you get the, the full effect of the salt. When you pour salt in a kill, like we pour it through the funnel, uh, it pours into the flint in the floor, so you're not getting as much effect as it when you blow it. It's just a, a cloud of, of salt, of all the millions of grains of salt blowing all over the pots. But you can't blow but so much. One thing you do is, uh, salt's wholly inside the kill, so you're salting your kill as well as salting your pots, and that's why we limit it to just a couple of jars of salt. 